Have you ever wondered how humanity could traverse the vastness of space reaching stars light years away from our own? Picture this, the cosmos, an infinite canvas of twinkling stars and swirling galaxies, each light a beacon in the dark abyss. Yet, despite our curiosity and ambition, these celestial bodies remain tantalizingly out of reach. Why? Because space, my friends, is big, really big. Imagine, if you will, our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. It's a mere 4.2 light years away now, that doesn't seem too far, does it? But let's put this into perspective. If we were to travel at the speed of the fastest spacecraft ever launched by humanity, it would take us over 70,000 years to get there. That's longer than all of recorded human history, and this is just the beginning. The Milky Way galaxy, our cosmic home, measures a staggering 100,000 light years across. If Proxima Centauri seems daunting, the thought of crossing our galaxy is downright mind-boggling. At the speed of light, a concept currently beyond our technological grasp, it would still take a hundred thousand years to traverse this distance. That's a journey of unimaginable duration, one that would far outlast any human lifespan. But what does this mean for our dreams of interstellar exploration? Are we forever confined to our solar neighborhood, doomed to peer at the stars from the confines of our tiny blue planet? Well, not necessarily. Human ingenuity is nothing if not relentless. Our desire to reach beyond our grasp, to push the boundaries of the known, has led us to a radical idea. What if we could construct a vessel capable of harboring human life across the generations? A ship where people can live, grow, reproduce, and die, all while traveling towards a distant star. It's a proposition that seems straight out of science fiction. Yet, it's an idea that continues to capture our collective imagination. But what if we could build a ship that could make this journey? A ship where generations of humans could live their entire lives as it travels to distant stars. Welcome to the concept of generation ships. Imagine a self-sustaining spacecraft so large it's like a moving city, carrying thousands of people across the cosmos. These are not your typical spaceships, they are colossal structures designed to support human life for centuries, maybe even millennia. These massive vessels are engineered to be self-sufficient, replicating Earth's environment in an enclosed ecosystem. Picture vast forests and fields, bodies of water and even artificial weather systems, all under the umbrella of a titanic spacecraft. This isn't just a vessel, it's a living, breathing biosphere in the heart of space. Generation ships are designed to function as a closed-loop system, where waste is recycled, food is grown, and energy is generated on board. Every resource is meticulously managed to ensure the survival of the ship's inhabitants for hundreds if not thousands of years. But why do we need such gargantuan structures floating in space? The answer lies in the vastness of the cosmos. Even at the speed of light, it would take us over four years to reach the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. If we want to explore stars and galaxies beyond our own, we need to think in terms of generations, not individual lifetimes. Hence, the concept of generation ships. These ships serve as arcs carrying our species across the cosmic ocean, each generation living and dying on board, passing the baton to the next, in a continuous relay, until the destination is reached. It's a journey that could span centuries, with the descendants of the original crew being the ones to finally set foot on a new world. But as with any ambitious endeavor, generation ships are not without their complications. They demand technological advancements that challenge our current capabilities. They raise questions of ethics, governance, and social structure and they force us to confront the psychological implications of life confined to a ship for many generations. Generation ships provide a solution to the distance problem, but they also come with their own set of unique challenges. The dream of interstellar travel is a daunting one, but generation ships offer a glimmer of hope, a potential path towards becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. Surviving in space for multiple generations is no easy task. It's not just about building a spaceship that can travel for thousands of years, it's about creating a miniature world that can sustain human life for just as long. The first challenge is maintaining a sustainable environment. The ship would need to be a self-contained biosphere, with its own air, water, and food supplies. It would need to recycle waste, regulate temperature, and provide light for photosynthesis. The closed-loop system would require extreme precision, as even the smallest imbalances could lead to catastrophic failure over time. Next is ensuring genetic diversity. With a limited number of passengers, the risk of inbreeding and genetic disorders becomes a serious concern. To prevent this, the ship would need a carefully selected gene pool. 
perhaps supplemented with frozen sperm and eggs to increase diversity. Genetic engineering and selective breeding could also play a role, but these technologies come with their own ethical questions. Then there's the psychological impact of living in a closed system. Imagine spending your entire life in a tin can, knowing that you'll never set foot on solid ground. The isolation, the monotony, the lack of natural light and fresh air, it's enough to drive anyone stir-crazy. And unlike astronauts on a mission, the inhabitants of a generation ship can't just return to Earth when things get tough. They're in it for the long haul. Even more daunting is the prospect of societal collapse. What happens if the ship's government breaks down, or if a new generation rejects the mission altogether? These social and cultural challenges could be just as perilous as the physical ones. Indeed, the challenges of long-term space travel extend far beyond the technical. They force us to confront fundamental questions about our nature, our resilience, and our capacity for adaptation. These are just a few of the hurdles we would need to overcome to make generation ships a reality. Building a generation ship is beyond our current technological capabilities. This statement may sound daunting, but let's break it down to understand why. Firstly, we need to consider the materials necessary for the construction of such a colossal vessel. It would have to be robust enough to endure the harsh conditions of space for centuries, if not millennia. This means withstanding high levels of radiation, extreme temperatures, and the constant bombardment of micrometeorites. Not to mention, the material would need to be light enough to be feasibly launched into space, yet strong enough to maintain structural integrity under the immense forces of a launch. Next, the ship would need a propulsion system capable of reaching speeds that would allow us to traverse the vast distances of space within a reasonable time frame. Current rocket propulsion technologies simply won't cut it. We would need to look towards more advanced and theoretical concepts like nuclear pulse propulsion or even the elusive warp drive, but the challenges don't stop there. Once in space, the ship needs to be self-sustaining. It would need to recycle and renew resources much like Earth does. This includes the production of food and oxygen, waste management and water purification systems. And all of this would need to be automated and highly reliable, because there won't be any pit stops for repairs or resupply. Additionally, the ship would need to create an artificial environment that supports human life, not just physically but mentally and emotionally too. This means considering things like artificial gravity, climate control, and even recreating natural landscapes or environments to prevent psychological issues over the long journey. These are just a few of the many technological hurdles we would need to overcome to build a generation ship. It's a daunting task but one that could unlock the mysteries of the universe and secure the future of humanity. So while the challenge is great, the reward is potentially even greater. Despite the challenges, humanity's ingenuity and drive to explore might just make it possible. Beyond the technological hurdles, there are social and ethical questions that arise. As we contemplate the notion of generation ships, we must ponder upon the social fabric that would be woven within these self-contained worlds. Who gets to embark on this grand voyage? Will it be an egalitarian selection, or will the wealthy and powerful claim their seats first? These questions touch upon the very essence of our societal norms and values. Then, there's the matter of governance. A generation ship, by its very nature, would be a society in itself, isolated from the Earth for centuries. How would we ensure a fair and just system of governance? Would we replicate existing systems, or would this be an opportunity to reimagine societal structures? The potential for power dynamics and conflicts are immense, and we must have robust mechanisms in place to safeguard the welfare of all inhabitants. Perhaps the most profound ethical quandary lies in the very concept of a generation ship. We're talking about a journey spanning multiple lifetimes. The individuals who embark on this journey will not live to see their destination. Their descendants, born on the ship, living their lives on the ship, and eventually dying on the ship, would be the ones to reach this distant star. It raises the ethical question of whether it is right to send people on a journey they didn't choose. Is it fair to burden future generations with the dreams and ambitions of their ancestors? Furthermore, what happens if we discover a faster mode of travel while the generation ship is mid-journey? Do we leave our pioneers in the cosmos, their sacrifices rendered futile, or do we rescue them, potentially disrupting their established society? These are not just hypothetical scenarios, they are very real issues we must address before we set sail into the vast cosmos. Addressing these issues is as important as solving the technological challenges. As we stand on the precipice of interstellar travel, we are not just exploring space, 
we are delving into the depths of our humanity. Despite the challenges, the concept of generation ships offers a glimpse into a possible future. A future where humanity is not just confined to the cradle of Earth, but has spread its wings across the cosmos. A future where we are not just observers of the universe, but active participants in its unfolding narrative. Imagine a world where generation ships are as commonplace as airplanes are today. These aren't just vehicles for transportation, they are self-sufficient ecosystems, floating cities in space where many generations live, work and die, all in the pursuit of distant stars. The future of generation ships is likely to be shaped by advancements in technology and science. Today, we struggle with the idea of sustaining life in a closed system for hundreds if not thousands of years. But tomorrow, with breakthroughs in fields like synthetic biology and nanotechnology, we might be able to create self-repairing ships, or even ships that can evolve over time, adapting to the needs of their human inhabitants and the challenges of the interstellar medium. As we become more adept at living in space, generation ships might grow in size and complexity. They could become not just vessels for exploration, but also hubs of culture and civilization, carrying the seeds of humanity to new worlds. There's also the tantalizing possibility that generation ships could play a role in our search for extraterrestrial life. As we venture deeper into the cosmos, we might encounter other civilizations, perhaps even other generation ships. These encounters could lead to exchanges of knowledge and culture, enriching our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Yes, the journey is fraught with challenges, but the potential rewards are immense. Our descendants living on generation ships might experience things we can barely imagine. They might witness the birth of a star or discover a planet teeming with alien life or simply marvel at the beauty of a galaxy seen up close. Generation ships might be humanity's ticket to the stars, a ticket to a future where we are not just inhabitants of Earth but citizens of the universe. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. Our universe, vast and enigmatic, is a siren's call to our curiosity, beckoning us to traverse the immense distances between the stars. The concept of generation ships, colossal vessels designed to carry multiple generations of humans, has emerged as a potential solution to this interstellar conundrum. However, the challenges of such a monumental endeavor are as numerous as the stars in the night sky. Long-term space travel is fraught with hazards, from cosmic radiation to the psychological toll of isolation. Our technological prowess, as advanced as it may be, is currently inadequate to fully address these challenges. Yet every problem presents an opportunity for innovation and growth. Beyond the technological obstacles, there are also profound social and ethical implications to consider. Generation ships would require us to completely rethink societal structures as we attempt to create a sustainable microcosm of human civilization within the confines of a spaceship. The ethics of sending people, especially those yet to be born, on a one-way journey through the cosmos, is a question that must be thoughtfully addressed. Despite these hurdles, the future of generation ships remains promising. Advances in technology, coupled with our unquenchable thirst for knowledge and exploration, could pave the way for these celestial arcs. The potential to establish human communities among the stars, to ensure the survival of our species beyond the lifespan of our home planet, is a compelling vision that continues to drive research and development in this area. As we gaze at the stars, we can dream of the day when humanity embarks on its greatest journey, aboard generation ships, to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. Thanks for watching Time Pilgrimage. Please remember to subscribe to our channel.